Okay. <clears throat> But if you look at these two vectors, D1 and D2, they are linearly independent, right? Because one of them is the amount of the other one. If they were, this would be, this is one times one, this D2 would be one times D1. So they have to be equal, but they are not equal. Therefore, these two vectors are linearly dependent, right? This one is the still the amount of the this bit. So G1 and D2, if I like D1 and D2, uh, are both basis for the same operator. Heading operator that is R heading. Okay, now the Matrix representation of uh, a head in the basis beta one to beta one was this zero one one one. What is the matrix representation of uh, a head in the beta basis beta two? Well, these are ideal vectors, therefore, it's it has to be the uh, what? Uh, and head beta two beta two will be what? Well, I have to do this a times v one, a times v one. Now this is just v one, no lambda one times v one, right? And zero times two, so it is just lambda one and zero. A head v two is just this is just lambda two v two, right? Lambda two v two, and zero times v one. Therefore, it is just zero times lambda two. Okay. What is the relation between them? Well, I need to find the matrix P. What was this? This was the identity matrix uh, from the basis not unbelievable. Beta iki dan beta bir var, değil mi? Okay, beta bir. So, how we will do this? Uh, the elements of beta two are D one and D two. So I will take D one, the first element of beta two. I take the first element of beta two. Plug in my operator, which is identity map. So D1 is map to D1. And then, so this is just D1. And I want to write this in terms of basis elements of uh, beta 1. What is this? This is just 1, lambda 2, no, lambda 1, right? Well, this is just 1 times 1, 0. And lambda one times zero one, so it is just uh, here I have one, and here I have lambda one. No, this is the first column, and then I want to pick d two. Well, this is just d two, and it is just one lambda two, and this is just one times uh, one zero plus lambda two times zero one. So the coefficients are one and lambda two. Okay. What is P inverse? So P is this matrix. One, one, lambda one, lambda two. What is P inverse? What is P inverse? What would the determinant of P? times uh, you interchange the diagonal ones and multiply the off diagonal by 
minus one. So it is like this. What is the determinant? Lambda one. So determinant is just lambda two minus lambda one, lambda two minus lambda one. And here I have lambda two minus one minus lambda one, one. Uh, lambda two and lambda one. Uh, so, uh, the universe is just negative lambda fish, here I have 35 degrees 50. This is one minus 25 over two. Uh, the difference, negative. Uh, Iki kök beş bölü iki yani kök beş. So this is uh, ama şey eksi. One over minus three five. And then here I have uh, lambda two minus lambda one minus lambda one one. Okay. Starts <laughs> Matrix uh, P maybe one one uh, one plus with five over two one minus with five and with two. Okay. We know that these matrices has to satisfy the following identity. What's that? Uh, not that, uh, not that, and the following. Uh, a pet from beta 2 to beta 2 is just P inverse times A hat, uh, beta 1 to beta 1, and then P. Or, or uh, this. Uh, so I can take this one and this one to the other side. So A hat. This makes it zero one one one. This is just A hat in the basis beta one beta one, and this is just equal to uh, this matrix here. What was this? This is just lambda one, zero, zero, lambda two. And then here I have P, and uh, here I have P inverse. Anyway, I multiply here by P so that they are canceled, and then this side by P inverse, and I get this. Okay, now this matrix uh, is just P times this diagonal matrix times P inverse. Now, what is nice about this is the following. What, if, for example, square of this? Well, let me call this matrix D, okay? So it is just P, U, P inverse. Squares. What is this? This is P D U inverse. And since multiplication is associated, I can just forget about the parentheses and I can write P D P inverse. But I have here P and P inverse. This is just the identity matrix. So then it just disappears. So what you get is P D D P inverse. Or P is square P inverse. Okay. I calculate K 
as many times as I want, and I obtain this 0, 1, 1, 1 to the power of R will be just. So you have this P, D, P inverse, P, D, P inverse, up to P, D, P inverse, and times. P and P inverses will cancel each other. I will just say D times D times D times D, D times uh, N times, so we get P to the power N, P inverse. What is D to the power N? D is just the diagonal matrix. What is the N power of this? You just take N powers of these. Okay, it's that simple. So this is just P. What was P? P was one, one, one plus root five over two, one minus root five over two, D to the power N. But this is just, uh, okay. Yeah, that's, if you want to show it to Tim, uh, let me just, to make life easier, I can just do this one, one, number one, number two. Okay. Here I have just lambda one to the power and zero, zero, lambda one to the power, lambda two to the power and what is P inverse? P inverse was uh P inverse was this. Okay. So uh, lambda two. Minus one, minus lambda one, one, and then here I have just this coefficient. Okay. So Okay, uh, so uh, zero one by one, one to the power of the you got minus one root five times. You just multiply this matrices. Okay, let me just write it here one more time. One one, lambda one, lambda two, right? Lambda one to the power and Zero, zero, number three to the power, and, and then here I have uh, lambda two minus one minus lambda one, one. Yes. Okay. Minus one, and then one, one, lambda one, lambda two. This time, this, this is back, you know, we just multiply. The first row with this number, so we get lambda one to the power n times lambda two, lambda one to the power n times minus one. And then you multiply the second row with this. So minus lambda two to the power, minus lambda one, lambda two to the power n, and lambda two to the power n. And from this, we get Minus one and root five. Okay. Uh not going to talk here, right? So uh this plus this. Uh yes, I'm not sure. Lambda is equal to n, lambda two, x six, lambda is happening, lambda is equal to n. Right, and then uh, minus lambda one to the power n plus lambda two to the power n. Uh, lambda one to the power n plus one lambda two minus uh, lambda one times lambda two to the power n plus one. All right, and then minus lambda one to the power n plus one plus 
not a receipt to the file, that's not a draft block. So the computer has all of this, okay? And what are that one and number two? They're just those numbers. Golden ratio and it's inverse basically. And uh, what does this tell us? You know how this started this story, right? Uh, this was actually basically uh, the attempt an attempt to find uh, a close formula for the Fibonacci sequence, right? Should it was uh, a is one, a one is one, and a n plus two is just a one. No, a one plus a n plus one. This is the Fibonacci sequence, uh, right? It's like this one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, and so on. It is the sequence. And we have the following. We uh, said the n is just negative to the R n, why not to give it? And then we saw that the n plus one is just a n plus one or the n plus two, and that is just a n plus one. A n plus one times a plus a n, and this is just uh, zero one one one a n a n plus one. In other words, this is just a times b n. A is this matrix. Okay, and from this we saw the following B n is just a times the n minus one, right? And plus first element is just a times b n. So this is just this element, and this is just this element. So it is just a squared b n minus two, and you just keep going till you get. A n and then B zero. B zero is what? So A n times B zero is so just A zero A one. So it is just one one. So what we see is that. So she she didn't she can't read. So, we have done this computation and power of this. Uh, you just write P universe, uh, no, P uh, D to the power of P in, uh, P inverse. Mm, yes, and this is what we obtained. And then uh, we recall our. Construction for the Fibonacci sequence we have done last Thursday. And then we obtain what? We obtain the following. Uh, so we and which we can a and plus one. And this is we and and this is just a to the power of n times. One, one. What was a to the power n? A to the power n was where is it? So, minus one over root five times uh, lambda one to the power n, lambda two, minus lambda one, lambda two to the power n, minus the second entry, minus. Lambda one to the power n plus lambda two to the power n, and then here I have one one. Here I have some of the elements. You see, 
from this, I can just obtain formula for AM. What is AM? The first element of this product. The first element will be what? Times one over five. Here. Bu çarpımı ilk kere mi? Efendim? Yok, bu, bu dört iki eğitim artı. Ha, üstteki sen cevabı söylüyorsun. Öyle mi? Tamam, okay. Okay, so the answer is just the sum of this two. So lambda one to the power n. Lambda two minus lambda one lambda two to the power n plus this digit minus one to the power n uh, plus lambda two to the power. N. Okay. So a n just times one over five. Should the show is like you know, I did hear it. Lambda this is a bit and parenthesis in there. Show you again. Lambda two extra this. Arte lambda two is a bit and parenthesis in there. One minus lambda one. Değil mi? Şöyle. Yani önce şey bulduğumuz. Şu katsayı nedir? Lambda 2 eksi 1. Lambda 2 uh, 1 minus 5 over 2. Uh, bundan 1 çıkartırsanız uh, ikisi de eksi olacak. Değil mi? Yani eksi 1 eksi 1. Önünde, önünde de bir eksi var. Yani o zaman artı olacak. Şöyle yazalım. Artı olunca da bir artı kök beş bölü iki çarpı lambda bir üzeri n. Bir artı kök beş bölü iki üzeri n. Artı bir eksi lambda bir nedir? Bir eksi lambda bir. So what is this? This is just one minus root five over two. So lambda two, right? One minus lambda one is just lambda two. So this is just lambda two. Uh, <coughs> lambda two. So one minus. This is the lambda two. Of the other way, lambda two is the same. Pardon. Şöyle. This is lambda 2. So lambda 2 to the power and plus 1. So 1 minus root 5 over 2 to the power and plus 1. So the nth term of the Fibonacci sequence is this. Okay. Tamam mı? Neresi olmadı? <gülüyor> evet. Hmm. İyi soru. Uh, we have seen several things, right? Uh, we know, uh, so we used how we can make use of uh, matrix representations of linear maps and why they are useful. Uh, as I said earlier, you know, if you wanna compute, uh, okay, you know, let me tell you my So, we had this, right? Uh, and then you're in red. We obtain this formula. Here's uh, if you want to compute something like this, and uh, this is uh, needed, for example, for this, uh, you know, 
elementary routine problem. Uh, as I said, you know, if you just plug this into a computer and compute it, it's not easy. Okay? You cannot get this formula. Uh, you cannot get this formula. Okay. If n is very big, after some steps on, uh, your computer will not give the exact answers because it will uh, uh, you know, round up the last digit and so on. So you, you will not be able to obtain uh, this formula. The only way to get this is to use linear algebra. And basically what we have used here, we use make representations of linear maps and then base change formulas. Right? Uh, this formula is called base change. Why is that? Because this is the matrix representation of an operator in a basis. This is the matrix representation of an operator in another basis. In a basis, so that my operator looks simple, like this one, lambda one, lambda two. Then we can just compute its power easily. Okay. And how much of this? Chilling machine is up Okay. Our aim is to compute something like this. And if you don't use this kind of machinery, linear algebra, uh, you cannot compute this. And if it is the three by three matrix, uh, bigger ones, in practice, you know, uh, uh, people uh, or algorithms are using matrices by 1000 by 1000. Okay, in practice. Uh, so you have to use the uh, very uh, advanced linear algebra to overcome the difficulties. Okay. Do you have any problem? I'm not talking normal. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you have to do it. Burada bizim yapmaya çalıştığımız şeyi bu meşineleri kullanmadan yapmaya kalksanız ne olur efendim? Bir deneyin elinizde. Ee, yani o zaman e, şey gözleksiniz hani e, hiç de kolay değil. Gözüken şeyler. So we are here trying to learn systematic way of you know uh, here matrix computations uh, or in general linear algebra computations uh, but you know to do things in a systematic way we have to write down uh, clearly your definitions uh, theorems other facts and so on and then you can just play with that okay We were uh, studying linear maps, right? Uh, we talked about several examples of linear maps. Now let's start so-called subspaces. Okay. Later, we will come back to this uh, thing uh, again. Uh, the, it's called diagonalization because <coughs> what you do, uh, you write a matrix in a diagonal form. Uh, but uh, to do so, we have to build up uh, more you know, uh, linear algebra, and we will do it uh, slowly. Uh, but, you know, since the sizes are here very small, two by two matrices, uh, it is, you know, uh, one can play with this without knowing the whole theory. Uh, but on the other hand, <coughs> uh, 
This example actually has all the uh, ingredients of the general theory of diagonalization. So, uh, well, maybe not all, but many of the actually uh, uh, facts of diagonalization uh, are used here. Therefore, this is a nice example. Okay, now, now let's try to build more. Uh, you know, uh, facts about linear algebra. A subspace of a vector space, space V is a subset S of V such that, such that this S is itself a vector space, is itself. A vector space, space, uh, vector space uh, with the operations of V. So, what's a vector uh, subspace? It will be a subset and if you use the same operations of D, namely vector addition and scalar multiplication, with those operations, S should be itself a vector space. If it is the case, then we call S a vector subspace. It is nothing but V, but you just leave some vectors outside. Okay, it's a smaller subset of V but itself, it should be a vector space. For example, ya da şey yapmadan önce şunu yapayım. Tekst olarak. S is the uh, subspace if and only if only if well no must lazım s should be a vector space with the same operations well this means what if you take two elements here add them up in v it's a vector but if that operation is an operation on S, that sum also should lie inside S. So if and only if, first one is this, V plus V1 plus V2 is in S. And second one, lambda times V should be in S. Fourth, all V1, V2, V in V and Lambda in the chain. Evet. Madem toplama S'in de toplaması olacak. Değil mi? S bir vektör uzayı aynı toplama işlemine göre. O zaman şu olması lazım. Bu iki vektörün toplamı da V'nin içinde ama S'in de içinde kalması lazım. We know that this is already in V because D, V is a vector space and this is the vector addition. But for this to do a subspace, we ask that this sum actually lies inside S. Okay, yeah. Tamam mı? Let's do some examples. Yine çevirme bir şey yaramıyor. Okay, so here uh, uh, we defined <coughs> a vector subspace and uh, okay. So let, uh, for example, uh, uh, V be the vector space of, let's say, uh, uh, 
one matrices and S be the following subset. Uh, okay, it's the uh, vector space uh, consists of, uh, of this one A B C D such that. Uh, A plus B is equal to zero. Yani S şunlardan olsun. Öyle vektörler ki ilk iki entry'nin toplamı sıfır olsun. Tamam mı? So, uh, is S a vector subscale. Okay. We need to Check two things. The sum of two elements should lie inside that. Set again, and uh, if you multiply vector by a scalar, again, it should be inside uh, that uh, set. Okay, uh, so let's see. Can I ask a question? What about the zero is should be as well? Yeah, I am taking it. Vector in S, zero times that vector should be in S, but zero times that vector is just the zero vector. So S should contain the zero vector uh, via this condition. What about one? One is not a vector. One is, an, uh, is the identity element of the scalar field. Oh. Well, we have to check two things. So let V1, Vm, V1, V1 is an element of this type. So it is A1, V1, C1, V1, and V2, another element, A2, V2, C2, V2, V in S. Then I know what, then, a1 plus D1 is zero, and A2 plus D2 is zero, right? Because if a vector is in uh, S, then the first two entries should add up to zero. So if these two vectors are in S, then uh, the sum of these two elements and these two real numbers are zero. Well then, what is V1 plus V2? Well, it is this. You just add them up, uh, right? These are just uh, matrices, column uh, matrices. What is the addition and scalar multiplication? It is just the usual big, uh, uh, matrix addition and scalar multiplication. So when you add them up, you get this. Is this an S? Well, we have to check the following. The sum of the first two entries must be zero. So let's see A1 plus A2 plus B1 plus B3. What is this? Well, this is just A1 plus B1 plus A2 plus B2. But A1 plus B1 is already zero. A1 plus B2, no, A2 plus B2 is also zero. So both of them are zeros. Therefore, this sum is zeros. So the answer is yes. Okay. So it's a, uh, it satisfies uh, the first condition. I have to check for the second condition. Let's see if it is uh, satisfied. Okay, lambda times uh, 
So, second condition, I take an element A U T D to S, I take any real numbers. Here, of course, I didn't specify uh, it, but you know, uh, if I don't specify, uh, whenever I take R to the power, you know, M, uh, and like this one, the scalar field is just real numbers, okay? So, uh, what is lambda times? Since this is in S, we know that A bar is zero. What is lambda times E? Well, it is just lambda A, lambda B, lambda T, lambda D. And the sum of the two first two entries is just what? This is lambda times A plus B, but this is just zero. Therefore, this is zero. So I get it is yes. So hence, S is itself a vector subspace, right? It's a vector space with the operations of the uh, vector space P. Uh, therefore, S is a vector space vector subspace of P. Yani büyük uzay içinde daha küçük bir uzay var mı diye bakıyoruz. Let's do another example. Let's consider V as just R, a vector space, and R field is also R. So R over R, it's a vector space. What's the basis for this? One, just like I need only one vector, this is one dimensional, and actually any non zero real number on the basis, right? So data is any favorite with your favorite number, okay? 2022. This is the basis, okay? Uh, well, consider this set just uh, two and three, right? This is a subset of B. Is this a vector subspace? No, why is that? Right. If this is a vector subspace, it should be closed under additional uh, scalar multiplication. Two plus five is just seven, and it's not here, right? So two plus five is seven, and this is not in S. So S is not. Hence, S is not a subspace of R. Come on. We can write for an H. of a linear time. So what is this? So let A hat from B to W be a linear map. We define uh kernel A is a subject is a subset, so kernel A, which is the following. In Turkish, uh, it's called Çekirdek, Ağrı uh, Çekirdek. So, <coughs> kernel is this, the set of all vectors which are mapped to zero, okay? 
So I am looking at all the vectors here so that their images in W are all zero. Then, then uh, this kernel M is a subspace of U. Why is that? Can Negative. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> <gülüyor> <gülüyor> <gülüyor> <gülüyor> <gülüyor> <gülüyor> Uh, let's see why this is the case. We have to check two things. It should be closed under addition, vector addition, and scalar multiplication. So, first, let's choose two elements in each other. Well, then, what is n? n we want to ask you two. Now, a head is linear. So, this is just a head we want to ask. A head V2. But this is zero. Now uh, this is also zero. Zero plus zero is zero. Therefore, this is in the curve. And they have to also check the following. Uh, let me just do it over here. So scalar multiplication. Let's say B is in the curve. And lambda is in a real number, no, not real number, an element of the field. Then a head of lambda v. Well, a is linear. I can take just lambda out, but b is in the kernel, therefore it's just zero vector. So this is zero. Well, this means what? This means lambda times v is also in the of so both conditions are satisfied. Journal A is both closed under vector addition and uh, scalar multiplication. Therefore, journal A is a subspace of the. Okay, uh, we may stop here.